I got this 330 GT engine that's about to come apart, but it's pretty greasy. So what I like to do is just power wash it a little bit and just get some of the some of the dirt and crease and grime off of it before I take it inside and start disassembling. It makes it a lot easier to uh, to take it apart when, when the thing is not as greasy. I don't think I'll get all of it off, but you know, we're just waiting for, it's been waiting for a warm day. As you can see, there's snow everywhere, but um, it's warm enough today, probably in the forties for me to just power wash it. So uh, let's get that going. All right, well, it helped a little bit. I mean, there's still quite a bit of grease stuck to it, just not coming off. I probably could use a, a stronger pressure washer, but my gas-fired one, you know, unfortunately cracked, has a cracked pump, so I had to use an electric one. 2,000 PSI is uh, kind of not strong enough to take it all off, but it, it's clean and it's cleaner, let's put it that way. Some of the stuff is just because it's cold and it's been on there forever it's it's not coming off but uh it's it, it helps anything helps to take some of that grease grease off the off the engine uh so the next step is to take the mounts off and um, i've got these great uh mounts that are going in i'm going to take the the uh, motor mount that that uh ferrari uses that that's got the big rubber donut and um, i'm going to put this guy in there i've got a you know friends of mine are, are sending me parts this one came in uh, thanks, Corey. I've got uh, Kerry sending me uh, his stand, which saves me some time of having to build one. Hopefully, the uh, the ID OD of, of stands that I have and yokes and all that other stuff will fit. But we'll see. I mean, it's it's a worth a shot. Sometimes uh, saving time to to uh, have friends help you out with some stuff might might be worthwhile. But uh, that's that's the next step when uh, when I continue disassembling this engine. So the first thing I want to do is uh, remove the starter. It's just easier to get get it out. It's heavy and uh, it'll just kind of get in the way of everything. So I have a wrench here that's made specifically for the starter nuts. They uh, sometimes people put 17 millimeter across the flats, but it's actually a 16 millimeter uh, nut. And the reason is because it's really tight up top. So you kind of have to grind the wrench down. Um, but that's just like a little funny Ferrari thing. It's like the only 16 millimeter not on the whole uh, on the whole car that I think that I know of, but uh, that's just one of those things. That that's how how you take the uh, the starter off of this car. And we know that it's original because no one's uh, you know these are 16 millimeter nuts. So you can see how that little access to that little pocket for that nut is really tight in there. So if you don't have the wrench cut down, you know, you just can't get the, the angle in there to get it to get it. And you gotta use a 12 point open-ended wrench or box end, because you just, you're not gonna get enough swing in the, in the wrench, but. You know, there's a lot, it's the Ferraris, unfinished Ferraris don't take a bunch of special tools. I mean, you can, you, but you do have to modify what you got to uh, to work on these things. A couple, you know, tools are ground a certain way just to, to clearance in here. And that's, that's, that's what ends up helping take these things apart. Later, pull this thing off. There's the nut. And we got this monster starter off. This thing's pretty, pretty heavy, pretty, uh, 
you know, sometimes people replace these with uh, with high torque starters. I've been replacing a bunch of them with high torque starters. These things get old, the windings get worn out, but uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Next thing I want to remove is the uh, is the motor mount, so I can get my adapter on there. So the idea is that we're going to mount these in here and then we'll have an engine stand on either side that this will slide into and then you can turn the engine. I mean, this, this second series 330s or later 330 engines had a two mount uh, setup. So the engine is fairly well balanced um, where the, the single mount is and um, with this, this uh, adapter it goes in and then you can you can kind of twirl the engine around so that's the next step